Hi everyone, my name is Carrie Jane. Welcome to my channel. And I have no idea what this video is going to be about. I've been sitting here for about an hour trying to organize my thoughts. And I just cannot get focused and I cannot exactly pin down what it is that I've been trying to express in this particular video. Uh, there are things that come up that surprise me that I wasn't expecting. And that's what happened to me last night. I was feeling very strange. I was up all night. <sighs> had terrible leg cramps, which I've never had in my life before. All kinds of things that there's really no reason for me to be feeling at that time. But long story short, I was up literally all night. <laughs> and I'm full of energy anyhow. Uh, any Anyway, somehow. And I, uh, while I was awake tossing and turning all night, I was watching one of the channels that I like to um, frequent, and it's by someone who I'll mention uh, many times in the future, probably, because I have plans to make a video that is actually based on, um, you know, this, this particular YouTuber in the spiritual community, and her name's Abby Normal. <laughs> Great name. And uh, Abby was talking about in this particular video that I was watching about um, manifesting human ascension. Very broad topic. One of the things that she talked about is, you know, what she what she likes to say often, actually is about how important it is for people in the spiritual community that we are all a part of, whether or not we, we you know, have direct, we, whether or not we are in direct contact with these people or not. We all um, have a duty to basically share uh, you know, what we have to offer in the world, you know, she, she always says, you know, you need to start that YouTube channel, you need to do that work, you need to start offering that healing surface that you have, whatever it may be, um, because the world needs it, and, you know, so on and so forth. In this video, she was totally right, you know, not just that, but everything that um, she was talking about was very true. Um, but... As I'm tossing and turning late at night, you know, I start thinking about what I'm doing here, why I'm starting this channel, which I've gone into in my first YouTube video. <laughs> but my feelings are uh, varied and complex. I think that. Uh, you know, I'm I'm starting this, this channel for many reasons. I think the main reason is just because it's fun. And I've been blogging for so long and I, I just cannot share the kinds of things that you can share, you know, through this medium, like unboxing videos. You know, I, I've never really shared my crystals or, you know, my hobbies, essentially, or just these kinds of thoughts because some things are better said in an article and some things are better said just on the dot, uh, at, the, at the time of the thought. So this is, a, this is another way for me to branch out, but to also, you know, conquer the challenge of having to make some sort of presentation, no matter, you know, how it is or what it's on. Um, it's, it's definitely an experience to grow from, and if you're watching this right now and you've never tried to make a video before, I highly recommend it because you feel like a lunatic talking to a, a little rectangle, <laughs> essentially. You f it's like, you know, it's, it's just very odd and very strange. But anyway, despite all these, all this, and despite, you know, all these reasons for, um, starting this this channel in, in context with what Abby was saying with how, you know, you start out small and then you work your way up and, you know, you just, you need to get it out there. I imagine 
myself doing this for a long time and it going nowhere. And it's not uh, something mentally that I anticipate because it's just a statistic impossibility that no one will ever find my videos ever. <laughs> but just based on what I understand of the world and the people that I've come into contact in my life and in my uh, in circumstances, it just... Uh, I, I am not convinced that any human being is ever going to watch anything that I make, ever, period. Which is not a good thing. It's not a, it's not a great thought to be having. Uh, it's, it doesn't stop me, because as I just explained, like my reasons for doing everything that I do are unrelated to that. But at the same time, it is something to think about, to feel like... I could make 4,000 videos on this channel and that not a single one would reach anybody. It's lonely. Um, it's a very lonely uh, existence. It's very odd to not have a community at all. Uh, I understand that these communities exist and there's tons of people out there that would not find anything that I present or say weird. Like, that's that's easily understandable to me. But I don't know, there's just something... There's just something about how my life has gone so far, what I've seen with my eyeballs and what I've felt with my heart. I seem to be on this path of sovereignty where it's just reoccurring not really have anyone to walk beside me. As I've said in my first video, I'm very much walking myself home. And so as much as, you know, I might be creating content that someone would like, it's like, for whatever reason, no one will follow it. You know, no one will go back to it. It won't really get far. Uh, it won't go anywhere in that respect. Does that mean that it should never have been done, or it was a bad thought, or it wasn't good enough? No. That's not my objective. What it means to me, though, and why it bothers me, is that... Uh, just just the, the isolation of, of having to have this, um, this life of not having any uh, visible external environment that is kind of like a mirror to what my reality is like, if that makes any sense. I think a lot of people, you know, you have your squad, so to speak, you know, you have people who don't really get you, but you tolerate them because you don't dislike them. And then you have, you know, people who are, you just, they totally get you. Uh, they see you, they love you. I don't really have any of those people. I can count on one hand the amount of people that I've come into contact in my life where uh, this this was the case. And I think that on you know this is beneficial to me on uh, you know my soul's journey in some sense because I get to learn how to walk myself home. I get to learn, how to 100% create myself without any uh, external inspiration that is uh, that I'm close with. You know, I can be put into almost any environment and still be a, a unique expression, an authentic expression. I feel powerful for having this life. I don't feel like this is a bad life, as the wind picks up. <laughs> like I, this is not something that I wish I didn't have to experience at all. But it just irritates the crap out of me that I seem to uh, be this, this uh, play this certain role in people's lives. It's, a, it's almost as if I'm not meant to be around any of these people because I have another job to do. You know, it's, you know, I haven't lived under a rock. Like even though, like I, I can't find any of these people, it's not because you know I don't leave my house and try to find them because I have. It's not like I haven't found any of these people. It's just that, for whatever reason, beyond things out of my control, you know, whether it's my family or 
my uh, my my professional setting, my my co-working section uh, uh, setting, my my friendship setting. I'm always put in these situations where I have to be that person who is the contrast of what they are and what and where they are in their lives and their thoughts and just something completely different. I have to be that rebel, so to speak, even though I'm not trying to be. I'm always that influence that gives them a very, very alternative point of view that's just very different from what they've ever heard in their entire lives. <sighs> and it's the, most, the worst part of this job is that no one gives a damn about it. It's like, uh, what I offer is like this plate in, of food and it's like, here, you know, you, here's this. It's the complete opposite of what you're shelling out. Um, it doesn't involve in your self-destruction and it, it just so happens that it doesn't involve you completely, you know, having to relive your karmic cycles over and over again. You know, you don't have to like this dish of food, but you know, it's there and you don't even have to try it, but it's there and here you go. No one takes it, <laughs> even though, as I said before, it's, it's the thing, it's, it's not the thing, but a, a puzzle piece to something that they could take with them and be like, you know what, I don't have to keep repeating these old patterns, or you know what, that is a very limiting belief system that is not only hurting myself, but the people around me, you know, or something, anything. It's literally all, almost all walks of life I think I've encountered just because I keep over and over again being having to be this person and play this role and it's from my bigger perspective of everything what I end up thinking about because of this is wow I was this person in their lives they don't know it yet like is there is there that point in everyone's at the end of everyone's life when they do their life review and they they look back on you know the choices that they made and they think uh, it was all be something that happened to them but life was like no actually we tried to you know show this to you you know this this came up you chose not to to figure that out you chose not to look into anything deeper into that you know Carrie was there she even said this specific thing to you you walked past that. We tried to put you in this environment after that or before that. You didn't care. Like, these are the kinds of people that I'm around all of the time, constantly. Whether it be, you know, my age or much, much older than me or not, not so much younger than me just because I, for whatever reason, I have not been around many young adults in my life so far. Although that might change now that I'm writing a young adult novel. I just, I'm getting really tired of having to play this role. I'm getting really tired of having to be the person who is their own unique uh, expression in the midst of, you know, the contrasting belief system and people not giving a damn about what it is that I have to offer and what it is that I have to say. And it's not because it devalues what I have to say or because it devalues who I am and what I offer, but just because it's like, I just feel like I could be doing something better. And this is the age of Aquarius, and aren't we supposed to have communities? I, I just, I don't know, I don't seem to have set that up in my life, for whatever reason. <sighs> very isolating, very, very frustrating, very lonely. And I don't even know where I'm taking this anymore. <laughs> I don't even know how to wrap this up because this is just how it is, you know? But I'm, I'm going to try try to post this video. Maybe I'll even do a part two of this video eventually because I feel like I didn't end the thought and that it was kind of open-ended. So maybe one day I'll get to end it and you'll get to see that. So if you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment so that YouTube starts recommending it to people and then maybe I don't have to feel like <laughs> no one gives a damn about, you know, what it is I'm trying to put forward.
whether it's on YouTube or my blog, please check out my blog if you like to read at all, because there's lots of well-organized, great thoughts that I've had and have had the wonderful opportunity of shelling out and, you know, putting out on display online. Please check out my Patreon page because I do offer services. I do offer many services. I offer readings. I offer what I'm currently writing, which if you like what I've said so far, if you liked any of my videos, you probably would be very interested in Metanoia and the book I'm writing. I offer numerology reports. I offer, uh, you know, um, working together with other people and trying to also share their content so please <laughs> check out the links below and until next time guys have a wonderful week and take care bye